What's up everybody? Welcome to my next episode of Heavy Rain. And in this one, we were actually cleaning off all glass that was touched by our uh, two heroes here. So that they didn't get in trouble when the cops arrived. Manfred was dead. And we were making Dad, sure that everything was done. Longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. But come on, let's go. Yeah, I don't think there was anything else that they touched other than the door. But it's interesting to uh, know that this guy died. How did he die? So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Correct? Yes, he went to get something in his oh, office. Oh, okay, I guess I didn't get all the prints. A few prints. minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Missed the one in the back, I guess. I don't think he touched the phone, though, in the back. Well, well, Scott Shelby. You in trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about it, will you, Scott? Sure. Taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We were partners, remember? We had a deal. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Well, then you can find him without me. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car! That's a good way to get killed. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Probably could leave her out here. Him. Miss him so much. 
do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Absolutely insane the way this all went down. Okay, here's another trial, and we gotta see if Ethan could do it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies. Hey, take it easy, man. Huh? Mm. Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure, we can make a deal, huh? God, I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! Whoa. You think you can come into my house and steal my dope? Nobody else hears this? Wait to shoot him, but oh, you're out. And now you get to make a choice. You can either kill him or not. Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You you want some dope? Please, please don't kill me, man. I got children. You were getting ready girl, to kill see? this dude. This one, Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. Uh, you should have thought of that before you started blowing up your own apartment. I'm a father, too. But I have no choice. <clears throat> now... You could have chosen not to do that, and you would have got a different trophy. Everything is all about the trophies and the way that this thing works, how it goes about. This guy is always getting sick, man. It's just nasty. Oh god, it was inside of the clip the whole time. He didn't even have to kill this guy, he could have just knocked the thing out. But again, he's trying to save his son, so he didn't know.
And this whole time, nobody heard any of this. Nobody reacted. The cops didn't come. Yeah, so I got the trophy. I'm a killer. Which, obviously, was because I killed a guy. Mad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Vitropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. This almost looked like the, uh, the thing with the taxidermist, the DLC. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Sure, why not? This doctor is strange. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. <laughs> Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Get my hands been off, thin enough, hard working enough. I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like a safety valve that keeps society from imploding. Now this guy just keeps drinking. I'm not gonna drink. Though. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. She keeps pushing all the right buttons. This guy is going to get very suspicious. You're not drinking? I am... Um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. Now, if I remember correctly, he leased the, uh, drink with something. That guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back.
Doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. Snooping around through his stuff. Stealing the guy's property, guy did nothing to you. Surgical gowns? I thought he stopped performing operations. Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past. You don't belong in there. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. <laughs> guy's got a toilet in his closet. It's weird. Yeah, nothing to do in here. creepy <laughs> ah, say hello to Matthew he claimed he had come to the census another one of those goddamn government spies so you're interested in my Marble Street apartment I rent it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe Paco he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But I don't think screaming's gonna help. With the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hey, Doc. This might sting a little. Oh, that looks kind of painful. Oh, my God. What is he going to drill? Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, that's not gonna work. There we go. Start with the leg. Hello, sir. I've come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of this magnificent Bible, which I will gladly leave with you. In return for contributions wow. of five dollars. She's good. No thanks, I love it. Come now, bro. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> it 
they're having a toss fight. Whoa! This guy loves his power tools. Nice. There's a lot of action going on here. Wow. This guy's gonna try to get you. There you go. There you go, beat him. Beat him. He's got the creepy laugh and everything. What has he got? This guy with the tools. There you go, cut him. Slice him, stab him, do something. Escape, Madison. She did a whole ninja spin and everything. Is this guy really gonna staple gun her? There you go, use that thing, cut him. This dude is sick. Uh-oh. That kind of scared me. Not gonna lie, after not playing this for so long, that was kind of intense. That really, really, woo. Oh boy. I got Smart Girl, which is a trophy for not drinking the uh, liquid. And Queen of Ropes, which is another trophy for actually escaping before the doctor returns. Can you stop that thing? Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Can we go inside? I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. We're gonna do a little exploring anyway. See what we can find. Blood. Now why is there blood here? Maybe because somebody got hurt.
The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. Size 10, most likely a visitor. Fingerprints, probably Mad Jack's. Now we're looking around for all kinds of clues. There's, uh, there's, like I said, there's different things you could do in this game. There's different trophies you could get. Before we go to the acid bath, we're gonna look around and see if we can find all the other clues that are around here. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Size 13. Must be Mad Jack size. Hmm, not the car I'm looking for. All of these are obviously fingerprints that Mad Jack has left behind. It is his stuff here. And again with these controls, man. It's finding fingerprints everywhere. But it looks like there's some kind of pollen trail or something here too. A few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks. No doubt about it, Killer's car was here. This guy has all these lights on and everything too. He's got this whole pollen trail thing going here. Look at this. How could he not tell that that's... It's strange that he can't pick it up.
camera angles here really stink too. I really wish I could like turn him around and, and look in a certain way instead of him just going in circles the way he's going in circles. I can't investigate this pollen here. There's a ton of it. You would think I would be able to like check that out. Gary comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Well, he sure found something. One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Interesting. Tut tut, no dice, Inspector Asshole. Don't even <laughs> think about it. Hey, no fucking around, or I'll pop a cap in your ass right here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? That is not the way I expected that to happen. Not going to get a very good ending. The way that should have ended, I should have uh, actually survived that, but I didn't. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. OK. 
Okay, let's see if he could cook an omelette. Again, it's so weird that you're <laughs> doing this stuff, all this like real trivial stuff <laughs> in this game. should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lauren, wait. This girl is, like, really into finding this killer. She's actually doing pretty good. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. They're really going to look like crazy. They're probably looking all night. She's determined though, which is good. guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. Huh. You never give up, do you? Excuse me, I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. Excuse me. 
I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Hey, Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in a cemetery? <laughs> Take it easy. The dead don't mind. I really wish these people could run, too. Why would they separate adults and children? Wouldn't they be with like their families? Where the heck is this stone? This is really depressing looking at all these graves. Thank goodness somebody found it. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlums! Get the hell out of here! God, beat it! You lousy, no good brats! Come back when you fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. The rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! This is super annoying. There we go. Why don't these kids play the game? Uh, let's stay out of the rain. Let's get somewhere safe.
guy is really letting his kids play on a construction site. <laughs> Go ahead, kid. Take a slide. Actually had to like tilt the controller like that. Come on! You actually have to keep the stick down while you're doing that. Bet you can't do that. Is with these kids why are they playing in a construction site what you doing you're coming or not dude are you trying to die These kids are out of their mind. I, I still can't believe these kids are playing in this thing. How are you kids Don't still alive? It's too hard for you. No chance, I can. And their dad has to be like father of the year, letting them go outside in the rain and play. And a construction site. Why is he living on a construction site? And why does this kid keep going? John, wait for me. Get a move on. Come on, kid, you got it. You know you're not gonna fall, come on. It's time to jump up jet! 
Terry goes again. Seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two. I don't believe I three, actually have to push the button for him to count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, How high do I have 16, to count? 17, 18, 19, 20. Where are you? Those cries! That's John's voice! Where is this kid? I feel like I'm getting closer, but I don't know where the heck this kid is. Give me a sign, kid. Where are you? Where else could I possibly go on this construction site? This kid. I can't even see him. I can't even find him. Uh, it's not that I don't want to help you, kid. I just I can't find you. Where the heck are you? All this time. My foot is stuck. Grab on. I'll put it over there. And the kid was in the simplest place. Come on. I'll save you. Crap. It ain't gonna work. What are we gonna 
do? Hang on, John. Uh, I'll get help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry. I think the water's rising. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. But the poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. Rough, rough story. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Good question. He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. the chef, which was for preparing that omelet. People going crazy on the dance floor here. I'm looking for Paco Mendez. Do you know where he is? He's at his table over there. Does he know you? That's not possible. Mr. Mendez is asked not to be disturbed. 